Welcome everyone to our 2026 driver lineups predictions. I'm Sogan, and once again joined by Captain Ajax. Well, let's go. We're finally in for some recording, but in the break, as there's for some reason there's uh, another free week break between the races in the autumn. Uh, well, um, at least we can put some off-season content in here, like this, these predictions. I'm honestly very excited for them. Indeed, indeed. Let's... I mean, let's do this. Uh, I don't think there's nothing else much to talk about. I uh, want to start. Um, quickly, I'll probably uh, explain how we're going to do this. At least how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go one driver for each team and then the other uh, other pairing of each team basically after that. So the I'll basically pick one driver for every team and then the rest 10 afterwards. Um, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Uh, I think you can go with your own way. All right. Okay. I, wanna, I think we can begin with whatever choice you want. <laughs> um, are they correct sheet? <laughs> I don't see you. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's right. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Um, I think it's very likely that Leclerc's gonna stay. Uh, like I don't, I can't even imagine him on in any other team other than Ferrari at this point. I think he's gonna retire at Ferrari as well. He's just such a Ferrari driver. <laughs> Leclerc is. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with Haas first myself, and I'm gonna. Go with okay. Am I, I I know what which driver I pick. I'm gonna pick Esteban Ocon for 2026 as well. Yeah, I think he signed a multi-year deal, so it should be for this year as well. Um, in 2026, so pretty safe pick. Well done. Yeah. Oh, such a yeah. yeah, even though they're probably the well, uh, the confirmed, the only confirmed driver pairing in my opinion for 2026. Uh, yeah, uh, it's Although it's not even boring, it's still like one of the most exciting driver lineups on this grid. Even though we're gonna see it next year in twenty twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Audi. I'm gonna go with the driver confirmed, so I'm gonna go with the boring picks as well. Uh Hulkenberg for Audi twenty twenty six, that's pretty much the reason he joined that team. Is next year is not gonna have fun in that uh I don't want to call it a car because uh, the Sauber <laughs> recently hasn't really been that good, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm not that excited about next year, but 2026, hopefully, uh, Audi will surprise me. I don't have th that big of expectations, but still, I, I really want to see Hulkenberg in a good car. Okay, 
Okay. Um, and, and there's a Williams, because I'm going with Williams next as well. Uh, I think Sainz is actually more likely to stay at Williams for 2026. But I'm still going to go with Alex, uh, the first pick. <laughs> Pretty much the same reasoning as you. Um, I, I don't really feel like it's going anywhere. Yeah, looking forward to that joint pairing next year as well. Um, pretty much what I've expressed about Alvin for uh, ever since I started doing F1 content that I want to see him next to a team and that's proven. Not another Latifi or Sergeant, and that's exactly what we're getting next year. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it, um, even though it's relatively boring because uh, it's pretty much confirmed with the contracts. Uh, Alpine, though, um, I think this one is pretty interesting, but I'm going to go with the safe pick, uh, Pierre Gasly. I think is going to stay at Alpine um, for 2026 as well, uh, which should be uh, 2026. It should be Alpine Mercedes, actually. They're gonna switch to Mercedes engines is now confirmed, and uh, that's also. I get honestly, I, I I was in love with the Renault livery, but ever since they switched to Alpine, I kind of don't care about that team. So if they're switching engines, it's not that bothering me, honestly. There's also one thing I, I uh, realized that in 2026 we're gonna go only have two Ferrari powered teams with Ferrari and Haas. That's Feel 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 so low for such a well, such an engine with such a name because my Ferrari engine is <laughs> is such a such a well uh, a big name in Formula One and uh, we're gonna we're gonna only have two teams with Ferrari and actually four or five is it five so yeah five teams with Mercedes engines right. That's crazy, actually, because half the grid is going to have the same engine. Uh, if those rumors about it being OP is true, I mean, it would be interesting uh, to see like, those five teams dominate uh, while the rest just struggles. Imagine like Ferrari and Red Bull fighting for P18. <laughs> uh, that's probably uh, exaggerating. Well, never know. Uh, up until 26, obviously. <laughs> All right, uh, Racing Bulls, or whatever that team is going to be called by 2026, because they're changing names like every single year, pretty much. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with... Actually, this this team, I, uh, those two picks I've, I've, I've chosen don't have uh, a boring one, because both of them are far from confirmed. I'm going to go with the more likely one, actually. Uh, Isaac Hajar. The I think current current runner up in the F two championship, uh, I think he should get a racing bull seat for twenty twenty six, um, following a potential F two win next year. Two in is going to be interesting, but that is my 
looking up good for me in terms of the driver's win. Will be the exact same at 2025. Okay. All right. If if what you're saying is true, I'm really excited for your Aston Martin uh, driver lineup. <laughs> uh, pardon. Um, I'm still a little bit sick. Uh, sorry for that. Um, okay, my Aston Martin pick. Uh, I'm gonna go with Fernando Alonso uh, for Aston Martin for 20.6. With the capital O. So yeah. I think he's going to staying for 2026 as well. Uh, he has a contract until the end of that year. Specifically, with Newey on board, with I think uh, all the all the other people. Well, Crawford from Red Bull to Aston Martin, uh, engineer, engineer Newey is one of them. Should be in for 2026 already, and obviously the Honda engines all should be very very exciting for Aston Martin going for 2026, and uh, yeah, potentially. A good car for Fernando uh, in his final years of his Formula One career, pretty, pretty much. So I, I think he's gonna stay until his fifties. That's uh, very unlikely, even for Fernando. Okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty. Uh, well, <laughs> it's it's confirmed pretty much. So, I mean, yeah, well, no, no. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, hopefully, I'm I'm so so hopeful for Audi, but also I'm very concerned because all the rumors around Audi are just not that great apart from the recent signing of uh what was his name <laughs> so uh the red bull sporting director uh uh something on the starting with w i actually forget his forget his name uh a little bit embarrassing for me but we will move on uh <laughs> mercedes um i'm gonna go with the, one of the should be confirmed picks for 2026 but i think only um uh, I I will not spoil anything. I'm gonna go with Antonelli for Mercedes. Um, so so far fairly boring for me, but it's gonna it's gonna ramp up very very soon. <laughs> It's not exactly what I'm thinking will happen next year, but I think going into 2026, uh, I think how they're going to bring back Ricardo. Ooh! Yeah, I don't think this is what they'll drive down to the next later. But I do think, uh, yeah, I think they'll bring back Ricardo into the sport. I think it'll be a very, very popular pick. I think it'll be hugely popular in America. Um, I did think about putting someone else here, but in the end, I just thought that ended up being that Ricardo. Yeah, so uh, it makes sense in the Audi. It's going to be two of the very strong partnership for them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, it happens for Ricardo. So because obviously he got the new electric sport. Very sad to hear hear about that. Uh, very sad to that news. So yeah, hopefully. Onwards, yep. The 2019 Renault uh, driver lineup reuniting at uh, Audi for 2026. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A favorite non-British driver lineup. <laughs> Yeah. 
I gotta admit, probably my favorite train lineup, Trevor lineup as well. I would love to see it happen, but honestly, for me, a little bit of a spoiler, but I don't think Ricardo is returning to F1. I think that I, I, I he's been given another chance and he hasn't really used it. I mean, he all he had to do is beat Yuki Tsunoda to be promoted to that Red Bull, but he, he didn't. He actually got beaten by a fair margin. Ooh, yeah. It is okay. <laughs> All that explaining for Ricardo just to get him out of F one again. Uh, Very, very sad, but I mean, kind of deserved <laughs> based on this season. Oh, specifically, uh, I mean, yeah, there's not, not, not much to talk about the Ricardo anymore. He he had his very, very uh, unpleasant farewell to F1. They've all the, all the announcement shenanigans that basically got announced like a week after <laughs> uh, his last race. That, that was very strange. But yeah, I'll finish it anyway. I gotta tell you, uh, your Audi lineup was almost mine as well, uh, but I, I made a last second change. Uh, I also changed a little bit from my final <laughs> final picks. So, yeah. Pinto, Galapinto. Um, do you think he's gonna be there for twenty twenty five? Asset to, to Audi as well. It's, it's, it's still a motor. 
from out of nowhere as well, um, for this I've looked at a bunch of like articles, which are like the next generation of Formula One drivers, barely on any of them, which is so shocking and then to see the fact that you see how many women have won this year and who's killing it, I mean, it, it, it says a lot, it says a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely a uh, huge talent out there. This fight is fairly unimpressive. I mean, it's still like way better than what I could have done, for example, but still like not that top level uh, junior career like Charles Leclerc or Oscar Piastri, but still how how quickly he adapted to Formula One and how impressive he's already uh, definitely puts pressure on the teams for, for next year already. Uh, 2026 especially should be should be one of the aims for uh, for a lot of teams. Though uh, I should continue. Uh, Ferrari, I think uh, the Mister Ferrari man Charles Leclerc is gonna stay. It's not doesn't doesn't need, need much explanation to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, um, I think that par partnership is not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I think that the trial and them just doesn't work together. They're, they're just so close to each other and just don't play the team game at, like at all. So they just that's just what's happening. Um, McLaren though, um, I closed my phone by accident, uh, but I still remember one of the picks, and uh, I'm gonna go with Oscar Piastri staying at McLaren for 2026. Yep, I think he's gonna stay there. It's gonna have a very good year next year, I believe so. If not a title challenge, perhaps, uh, if he really makes a step forward uh, for next season. Because right now, as I said in the last video, I think all he needs to do is to find consistency. And that's pretty much, he al already has all the qualities. Like he has the race crowd, he has the speed. He just needs to find a consistency. And perhaps next year, maybe, maybe if all stars are aligned, he could become even the 20.5 champion, so uh, definitely stay in McLaren, in my opinion. It's a very, very interesting pick, and um, one that I definitely didn't expect. I honestly haven't even thought about Gabriel Amini uh, for 2026, uh, but I mean, Okay, uh, okay, uh, for the next pick, um, I think, I think it's time to, um, well, get the, get the bold ones coming in because 
I'm going to go with Lando Norris for Red Bull 2026. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going straight out there. I think Lando's going going to Red Bull uh, based on what's going to happen next year in that Red, Red Bull driver lineup. I think uh, the Red Bull team itself is, uh, is going to have some problems, internal issues, and it's going to lead to uh, a vacant seat and Lando is going to take it at Red Bull based on uh, a very, very different season to what we would have expected from McLaren in 2025. Perhaps Piastri beating him would lead to Norris leaving. Yeah, that's pretty much my explanation. I just feel like this is very likely, in my opinion. Okay. Wow. Um, we're gonna have the same picks for racing bulls, perhaps. Uh, actually, no, because you you you've already changed something. Uh, pretty late on. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm. Okay, for the, for the for the second part, I'm actually gonna go with the boring, well, not boring ones, but the l more likely ones first. Uh, I think Behrman is staying at Haas for 2026. I think next year is gonna be all right for him. I don't think he's gonna beat Ocon, but he's gonna be fairly close to him, and I don't think Haas will have any reason to switch their driver lineup for 2026. And uh, yeah, I don't think a Ferrari promotion. We have the dry one up they're having for 2025 is very likely. Yeah. 
I am very surprised, but also very glad that you went with someone new and someone that I actually I haven't thought like at all, even even less than Mini, because I I've been watching a little bit of uh, F two and F three because I I remember Mini as a as a good prospect, but honestly, uh, this Swedish uh, Swedish prospect that you brought up, I. I yeah, I gotta be honest. I I think I have heard that name before, but I actually don't know. I if, if you would say that he drives like IndyCar or whatever, I would actually believe it because I I have no idea like where he actually drives. Uh, I think I, uh, I remember that name though. So uh, very interesting pick from you and uh, wow. Um, Good for you <laughs> that you find some very bold picks already. Um, I, I'm gonna follow, but I also I gotta get the boring ones first out. Uh, Lewis Hamilton for Ferrari, I think, is staying on. Uh, I, 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 this is he's not going anywhere. He's pretty much signed for his last team in F1, in my opinion. He's not gonna go out uh, to another team from Ferrari, and uh, if if uh if he struggles against leclerc it might be a premature exit but i don't think it's gonna happen i don't think lewis is the kind of driver to drop off after losing motivation to drive like sebastian fellow for example because yeah vital as as after a 2018 season pretty much just i think he's, he's lost motivation and lewis doesn't seem like that kind of driver uh I think at at the peak, pretty similar to Sebastian, just he's he's still gonna drive very quickly, no matter what. Kind of like Fernando, uh, just not as I, I still don't think he's gonna challenge Leclerc uh, to be the number one driver at Ferrari. I, I just don't feel I I just don't feel like he's gonna be beaten by much. I think it's gonna be very similar to um, to McLaren this season. Uh, Lewis having those performances like Piastri in Baku when uh, when Leclerc is having an off day and uh, Leclerc being the mo more consistent, uh, especially in qualifying, I think it's going to be a very similar story to McLaren this year, in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, beyond awesome. Uh, I said beyond awesome, but I, I think you're, it's your turn for, for your Aston Martin pick. I actually thought you're gonna get, get stroll out, but now it looks like, well, okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so promising. Like Adrian Newey, Honda, and Fernando Alonso united for 2026. Like, I mean, we could very well see the, the third world title uh, in 2026, but <laughs> yeah, it's probably a long stretch also. But it's, it looks so realistic on paper that it's almost like. Yeah, I'm probably very excited for 2026, even more for 2025, as next next year we could have four teams battling for the championship. It's so exciting time for Formula 1 right now, like, ever since the Red Bull domination uh, ended, we we're just in for some very exciting time in Formula 1. Uh, and, uh, yeah, very good, very good, and uh, very exciting. Um, okay, I, don't, I think the final 
boring one. Well, boring, not that boring. I, I expressed my excitement about this partnership, but I think it's going to be very interesting to see them next year. I think, I think science is going to be the better driver at Williams next year, but I no no way that it's going to demolish Albon. I, I just don't think that's going to happen. I think he's going to have the upper hand by a little bit, but it's very, very close. Just like the Alpine winner, for example, uh, with Gasly and Ocon, with Gasly having a little bit of an upper hand uh, last year, for example. Very, very close, but science comes on top. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see them and you're gonna be very excited, let me tell you. Ooh. Russell for Aston Martin. Especially because Aston Martin, from 2026 onwards, will be hoping to challenge for actual titles. They put so much money into it, they brought in the most paid person in F1 that's not a driver. Uh, perhaps the most paid person in sport in history to not be a driver. Um, the, the head build design of the team. He will have to think, I need to stop thinking myself. Because no matter who's next year, he probably... And, even if we have the quickest car by far, no matter who's next to it, it's probably the end of the uh, He might win a few races, he might do well, but he's not going to win. So I think from, from 2027 on, there'll be a change in Aston Martin. They won't keep going. Here's an answer Stroll, perhaps they keep going. Realistically, they may not. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think for me, George Russell just fits that role perfectly. I think um, he'll be coming out of a, a contract with the same bonds for so long. Um, and I think, uh, you know, I think in a lot of ways, he is sort of the, the, the perfect driver for Aston Martin. He, does, he works well with Alonso so well, and he's been there for ages. He loves the place of Phil Russell, and he was in the Williams for him, and he seems to be well known to be a mentor yeah. him in, in certain ways. Um, there's there's the Britishness of it, Aston Martin is a very British company, which is why James Bond thing. But I think just, you know, George Russell is, can be sort of seen as that James Bond archetype, I think. You know, he's the coolest of the F1 drivers. Not that they used to be the coolest <laughs> They are all incredible. Yeah. Maybe not in the 2026 season, but at some point in the future, I think it just makes so much sense. And uh, yeah, I, I wanted I wanted to make sure that that was the case. Because whilst it makes sense that he would be actually thinking about it, an actual F1, if I was running an actual F1 team in Aston Martin, I've got to think, is it? Wow. Wow. Just, just, just wow. I mean, that, this trial lineup would probably make me a fan of Aston Martin, honestly. <laughs> like, such a... This, this, this just makes so much sense that I, I can't believe I, I haven't thought of it, honestly. Uh, wow, just... Just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, oh my god, this is this actually wanted me to change my picks a little bit, but now I'm confused on what to do next because it's it, that was gets difficult. Yeah. 
Wow. Oh, oh, oh. This is this is looking so so well I, on both sides. I think we're gonna have some 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 bangers right on lineups and okay I'm gonna go with I'm gonna start getting my my bolt picks out now. I think I think it's the, it's the time. First, I think I'm gonna go from the bottom because that's uh, Gabriel Bartoletto, the current F3 champion and F2 runner, well leader. I think is currently leading the championship. I think he's gonna be picked up for 2025 and he's gonna stay there for 2026. For Audi, um, he's one of the contenders, obviously with Bottas and Colapinto already in talks. I think. I think. I think Bartoletto, if he wins the championship, I think it's, it's a crime he wouldn't get that seat uh, on this grid, especially like like F3 and F2 champions back to back. That happened like only a few times with, for example, PS3 or Leclerc or Russell. And those three drivers are like, among the highest rated drivers on the grid currently. I, I think it would be a crime to not see Bartoletto on uh, next year's grid. And I think he's going to stay there for 2026 as well uh, for the Audi rebrand. A very exciting uh, young driver and a very good driver with a lot of experience in Hockenberg. I think that's a very good lineup for Audi going in 2026. Mercedes, I, I don't know how well we'll do next season. I, I think Chris would perhaps he won't be that quick, but I do think they are thinking of getting a project and definitely think it's going to be quick in the future. He does have a lot of potential, I do think he'll be fine. Uh, and that's why I'm going to put him there. Uh, yeah, so Antonelli into the Mercedes. The same Mercedes. Yep. Fair, fair enough. Uh... Yeah, it's only for Mercedes. That's that's very much confirmed as well. Like unless he has a start of the year next year or something like that. Even even that would probably like. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> but we'll 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 have to see. Uh, Antonelli in F one car uh, for more than ten minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, next on next up. Uh, whew, which one do I choose? Uh, okay. Uh, I'll let you I'll let you pick the team that I'm gonna go with next. Okay. Yuki Sunoda. <laughs> I I think this was like the the first that I've made after I've uh, went through the well, the second confirmed of uh, Haas and Ferrari. I think this was this one was my next. Actually, after Williams, so my fourth driver lineup. I, I think that this makes so much sense. I actually was confused why Yuki resigned for another year because he's not getting the, the Red Bull seat. Honestly, like, I think that's everyone knows about that. And Alpine, even though there's they're not that well, not that good right now. Uh, <laughs> It's it's fair to say that uh, they're still switching to Mercedes power engines, uh, well, power units for twenty twenty six. I think that could bring in Yuki uh, and yeah, I really wanted to see him in Aston Martin, but also I think this lineup. Just, I just want to see it happen again. Gasly and Tsunoda, <laughs> one of my favorite tribal lineups uh, ever, probably. Uh, I just. This, this has made so much sense for 2025. Uh, I'm sad it didn't happen, but 2026 is going to happen, trust me. Incredible pick by really, really nice. 
going to say a lot for how much we think Jack Lewin is going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's. I, I actually don't like. Un, I don't want to underrate Jack Dewan, but he just he just hasn't impressed me that much to have have too much hope for him, uh, especially with so many talents already waiting for an F one seed. I think Gasly is gonna do what he did pretty much to Sonoda in his first year. I think Sonoda was pretty much saved by Honda. I think he would get dropped. Uh, after year one, uh, if it wasn't for that, so I think uh, Duan is not gonna have uh, an entire engine manufacturer behind your back. So uh, sorry, Duan, but you're not in my predictions. Uh, I'm gonna go with the final five picks. Wait, actually, you're first. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, this kind of kind of kills my predictions. I also went with Max for Mercedes. Uh, I have all the same reasonings, and uh, I don't think it needs much rep like not, not much repeating. It's it just makes sense despite all all that you mentioned, like all the rivalries and so on. Just Max for Mercedes. Uh, I think. I think this this just makes sense. The other one uh, that I thought about was Aston Martin, but then actually realized like, who would I put in the Mercedes seat? Because <laughs> uh, yeah, I've also moved Russell as uh, you've moved him to Aston Martin. I've moved him elsewhere. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, well. Uh, Explain the thought process that has, that has entered my mind. <laughs> if, uh, go on, I go on. <laughs> Want to 
they just split apart from Norris a bit. There's a lot of talk about how he has to support him this season. So I do think, and as much as that thought has entered my mind massively, then both going to go forward. I do think he'll want to split apart from Norris, who was going back, who was a the lead driver for his season. And so therefore, I'm going to keep him at the driver. Okay. Oh, I think you have the same reasoning as I did, right? With uh, Brash, Rissing, and McLaren, I think. When it comes to those two McLaren drivers for next year, it just I feel like Piastri has the bigger chance to stay in McLaren, right? It's yeah. just, it just just feels like it. Okay, <laughs> I think we're both leaving the Red Bulls and McLarens uh, for the last ones. I'll go with the other pick. Um, probably not as exciting, but I, in my opinion, very bold. And I really, really, really uh, don't think it's going to happen now that I've thought about it. But I also don't know if I can change my picks last second like you did. Because I honestly... Would probably do that because I only I would only change one driver if it was for that, and I think I'm gonna do it. Honestly, oh, I think I think I'm gonna do it because yeah. Okay, um, Gabriel Bortoleto to McLaren and Valtteri Bottas staying at Audi. Bortoleto getting promoted to the main team, uh, the McLaren Junior that I've already uh, talked about for the Audi seat. I think he 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 will get to that McLaren seat. He will he will be in McLaren 2026. Uh yeah. <laughs> I I don't even know if I should explain it cuz uh yeah, just this pure vibes and pure like hope hope uh, for for sure, for sure. Different. It's a different type of driver than he was in the beginning. Yeah, he's going to be very, very 
very uh, Australian British based <laughs> the um, but I think you know, they, they know it how to read the way they make quality decisions. I think they'll take that with with them when when they can. So yeah, that that is a, that's a big pick for me uh, for Jermaine to 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 the McLaren. <laughs> yeah, I heard. <laughs> yeah, I, I was surprised, but also I'm kind of relieved now that you agree with me for the McLaren pick because it, it makes so much sense and it would be very exciting. I, I think Bartolo to, to McLaren. Uh, just. Yep. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, um, I think your Red Bull lineup is pretty much confirmed, right? So I, I, I think it, it, no, it's not very boring at all. It's like two brand new drivers still, but I think you can already type it in cause as it's as as we both know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, you're not you're not having Sonoda on our grid, so I was just pretty confused. You you uh actually with the Bartoletto to McLaren, I actually have changed something that pretty much pretty much re replaced the uh, stroll because I originally had him there actually <laughs> but I really needed to get him out because it is was meant to be exciting as stroll and Aston Martin is the opposite like the, the polar opposite of exciting <laughs> It's also, also had a thought that when, when I replaced Stroll, I originally had Bottas at Aston Martin, but then I changed it quickly so I get Bottas at Audi and Bartolotto at McLaren because I thought it made more, more sense. If what I'm going to pick now, um, I'm going to get them free in so I can explain my thought process, basically. Uh, Cola Pinto at Racing Bulls, Liam Lawson at Aston Martin, and George Russell at Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, I, 
<laughs> okay. Liam Lawson, Aston Martin. I think I should start with this because Color Pinto and Racing Bulls. Uh, this is. I, I originally also thought about Color Pinto for uh, for Ali like you did because that's what I, what I said when you picked him. Uh, but then I changed it to Bartoletto because I, I thought that it made more sense with Color Pinto uh, moving to Racing Bulls. I also had racing bulls, like three other drivers in there, <laughs> but I ultimately went with the color pin too. Uh, I think it's going to get there in 2025. Uh, originally had Bortoletto in for Audi, but changed that for McLaren. I think Bortoletto is probably going to be uh, the test driver for next year for McLaren, uh, the, the, the reserve third, whatever role. Um, he potentially could sub in. Like we, we saw Behrman and uh and Lawson uh, in recent recent years uh sub in for a couple of races. I think Bartoletto could have that chance and perform very well, uh bringing him that McLaren saves for twenty twenty six as McLaren will lose Norris to Red Bull. As Max will go to Mercedes. That's, that's that was the prediction that pretty much kicked all of this because yeah, Russell to Red Bull was I think I was uh, sold with this uh, very early on as well. Um, as I went with Max and Mercedes, I, have, I had two weekend, weekend spots at Red Bull because I don't think Perez is going to continue. I think he's going to get replaced for next year already. That leaves uh, Lawson, who's going to get to the Red Bull. But 2026, you're going to have Lawson, who I don't think he's going to do uh, Perez badly like, but... He's not going to be a George Russell, right? He's going to be Lando Norris. They will want a better driver next, well, next to whoever you think will get signed first, Norris or Russell. That leaves Lawson, who will not have a bad year at Red Bull, next to Max, uh, to Aston Martin, replacing Stroll. Originally also had Tsunoda there, but I had to move him Tsunoda to Alpine because I, I really need to that to happen as well. I also wanted to get Alonso out, but uh, that just didn't make sense after the new e announcement and so on. And yeah, Lawson to Aston Martin, I think that actually fits pretty well, doesn't it? It 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 it, it feels strange, but also makes a lot of sense. Like the the old uh, experienced uh, champion with Fernando and the young talent in Lawson, who has a who's had the year at Red Bull. I think Lawson getting replaced at Red Bull will not be due to performance, uh, like not purely due to performance, but more of a well, Norris and Russell is. <laughs> I I think those two drivers will have more market value for Red Bull, uh, and uh, Lawson will only get a year at Red Bull, uh, both like a one year contract for twenty twenty five. He's gonna replace Perez, in my opinion. It's gonna be up there with Sonoda, with Sonoda in twenty twenty five. Uh, well, he's not going to get to the Red Bull. Uh, we have seen uh, Max and uh, Lawson fairly quick. Sonata is going to switch to Alpine with Dew and not doing well. And it all just it all just comes together so well in the end. I think the change I made with Bortles to McLaren, I think that was the that was the thing that I needed to do. Uh, all of this makes so much sense for me. Uh, it's so it's so bold, so exciting, but also very realistic in my opinion, and uh, that's just I'm very excited about my about my uh, my picks and yours. I mean, I already <laughs> explained my my excitement by about the Aston Martin, especially McLaren. You're able to see Lawson and Red Bull. I guess let's do it. <laughs> also, what we've done is we've made so many great picks, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be more crazy, probably. This is, I'm so happy with this video. Like, uh, it's completely different vibe to the one we've had uh, when we did this during the summer break. And I'm just so happy with the, with, with our picks. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is just 
this is amazing. I'm I'm very happy with this. And honestly, like looking at this for twenty twenty six injected in my veins, I'm I'm so ready. I'm so ready for next year already. It's I'm, it's such a good time to be an F one fan. Honestly, like yeah, I, I'm. I, even if this season ends up with Max winning comfortably, because Lando will not be enough, uh, not have enough, well, good races to beat Max in the end. Max getting four championships in a row, um, and McLaren getting the first constructor championships is one ever season whenever. Next season, I think we're gonna have one we'll of the best seasons probably in a while. Well, twenty twenty one was a great season, but that was only a two team battle. We could where we'll see a four-way title fight for the constructors and uh, potentially uh, even a bigger number for the driver's title next year. Sounds very exciting. 2026, new Rex. These lineups, if they come true, uh, uh, even if yours or mine come true, I'm just this is so exciting. Uh, I'm just, I, I don't know what happened. I had the pretty bad day, but now I'm very excited. But something, something that might not even happen. Yeah. Uh, also, even with these predictions, we don't agree to. Yeah. I'm sure that we're strong ones. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully our prediction is better for the Aston Martin <laughs> driver lineups because those are so exciting, especially yours. Because oh my god, like stroll out of Aston Martin is already making that team so much better <laughs> in every aspect. Like. How does one driver make the team so unappealing to not just fans, but like general public? I, I think Aston Martin would be so m much more exciting if they would get rid of Stroll. But it's not going to happen, right? Because uh, just, uh, yeah, I mean, me, like personally, if I would have a, if I have a son, I would never replace him, no matter how bad he would do. So, I, I completely understand Lawrence Stroll in that matter, uh, but it would, be, it would be such a good thing for Formula One to have Stroll out of Formula One. <laughs> okay, uh, any final thoughts from your side? Yep, I'm actually very more positive about his day. It just improved my entire day. How did this happen? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, and I also how that improved your day as well, the viewers, uh, and you are obviously yours, yours as well, AJ. <laughs> because I think we'll be recording for uh, for an hour, right, or even over an hour. Uh, actually, I thought it was be much much shorter, but we went off, and it was uh, it was worth it, right? Yeah. So yeah, thanks everyone watching us uh we enjoy this video and this recording and this predictions i'm i'm happy with it with them so thank you again and until next time see ya